Member for Saanich North and Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I certainly appreciate the passion that uh, comes uh, to this place uh, after the 6 p.m. hour. I, I'm wondering why it's taken us so long uh, to, to get to us to an extended session, and I'm uh, pleased to rise today and speak uh, to Bill 40, the Electoral Reform Referendum uh, 2018 Amendment Act. And first off, I'd like to uh, reiterate my support for democratic elections in our province that actually reflect how British Columbians voted on Election Day. Seems weird that I'd have to say that, no? Does it not make us all a little uncomfortable that our current first-past-the-post system is the furthest from fair system that we could have? A system that rewards poor, politically driven, divisive decision-making rather than thoughtful, evidence-based policy? In fact, there are numbers of systems that we could adopt that would ensure that voters' intentions are actually represented at the end of Election Day. To hear the official opposition defend the status quo, a status quo that handed them false majority after false majority in a desperate bid for yet another false majority is really quite sad. To hear them confuse and muddle to try to convince British Columbians that it's better that British Columbians hand them 100 percent of the power with no tools to hold them accountable is really quite something. If I was to give a recommendation to British Columbians after just a few short months in this place, it would be to protect your power. Protect it with everything that you have, because it is really very powerful. Do not give it to any party or any individual without the proper checks and balances. Be very critical of anyone who suggests that you give them your power with no actual accountability measures. I'm excited that British Columbians have the chance to vote for an electoral system that better represents their wishes, their wishes as expressed on Election Day, something which hasn't happened in this province in a very long time. And what we've heard from British Columbians of all political stripes and experts from across our country, that is, we have an opportunity to make our government more democratic, more accountable, and more collaborative. The only experience that I have had in this place is one of collaboration, and it's one that I invite uh, all members to be a part of. So today I stand in this House and urge British Columbians to embrace this opportunity. I stand in support of the Electoral Reform Referendum 2018 Amendment Act and to give British Columbians the power to change back to the first-past-the-post system after two general elections if they find the change to proportional representation doesn't serve them. After all, that is the job that we have in this place. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.